and I tell you guys about all the alternative opportunities that exist within this planet away from the mainstream circus the mainstream circus where they try to put you on a hamster wheel and get you running and running and running in a circle 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 forever chasing something that you will never attain because life is about the chase not about the destination of course we want good outcomes however that is not the most important thing the most important thing is that you are running a challenging race one that engages you mentally physically spiritually and emotionally once you acquire something that is going to challenge you to that certain level and that certain extent you will live the most uncomfortable comfortable life that a man can live because you have to know that through challenge comes growth through pain comes evolution through the resistance comes the revolution all of these things can only be acquired by those who decide to engage themselves in highly challenging tasks meaning those who peer out the window see the mountain at the hilltop and decide that today will be the day that I climb that mountain and I reach its summit now not everyone will get their people about for different reasons some they're gonna take a few steps realize mm, this is actually not really what I want to do a few gonna go a couple hundred meters ah oh, I forgot the stove was on at home they get back home never see them again a few they get a couple of kilometers they get a sweat and they get a work in climbing up that mountain hiking up that mountain however they realize wow this is going to be such a challenge I've only gone two kilometers and I'm already going through all of this emotional and physical turmoil and then there are those that will make it halfway there they'll make a halfway there not realizing they've gotten halfway there it's the most important they haven't realized they've gotten halfway there but because they know what's behind them they know the challenges that they face going backwards but they're uncertain of the challenges that they face going forward they decide let me go back not realizing that they're actually going back the same distance that they need to progress forward to reach their final destination so they go back go through the same struggles just as difficult as if they went forward only differences this time they know what is to come because they've already faced it as opposed to them carrying moving on forward to the summit of the mountain they do not know whether there's a grizzly bear lurking a cougar or a pack of wolves waiting for them at the finish line so they decide I'm gonna go back the way that I came and that's the decision that they make not realizing that making that decision still there is a risk that they might not even make it back because the distance is just as great and there are those who persevere the final select few Usually, in a room of a hundred people, this is about two to three people that actually make it the whole entire way. And they make it to the final destination. They get to the peak of the mountain, they get to the top. And they get to see what they've overcome as they look back and realize what it actually took and they realize what they've actually accomplished after seeing how many had fallen off this is the race of life this is the race of your life and that's just how it works it's a marathon not a sprint and as time goes on some will be leading far ahead of others they'll gas out others steady pace steady pace catch up others steady pace 
they gas out <laughs> others sprinting they go so far ahead they can't be caught a thousand ways to win a race man a thousand ways to win a race and you have to understand that so whatever personal philosophy or ideology that you carry on yourself this is a reminder that you should not project that onto the world and you should win your own race most people have the habit of projecting their reality onto reality not realizing reality works in so many different possibilities millions of probabilities it literally cannot be calculated but it can be predicted and there are principles that will help you to become a master analyst and dare I say a prophet and what do prophets do? Prophets make profits and that is the goal that is the goal and that is why I brought that analogy so that you can decide who you will be because prophets get to the summit and the rest of them are just people who have a nice story to tell on another Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner and just say hey man once you know I tried to do this or I tried to do that I tried to do that another person that's his life that's his mission that's his focus therefore he cannot come and say I tried to do this and I tried no it's either it gets done or it doesn't get done <laughs> it's either it gets done or it doesn't get done there is no in between there is no turning back there is no plan B there is no change up until you reach the summit once you reach the summit all possibility all change is welcome but for you to incorporate that change truly so that it runs through every cell of your body you have to reach the summit so you know who you are once you know who you are you can move on to the next opportunity knowing that you can overcome anything because the obstacle is always the way.